The problem with most found footage movies, well, let me say, obviously, found footage is a great genre for the filmmaker because you don't need uh, expensive cameras, you don't need expert camera work, um, and they're therefore very easy to make for someone on a low budget. And in that sense, they're great. A lot of people can make a lot of great movies. Unfortunately, a lot of them don't end up making great movies. <laughs> uh, the problem with most of them is that they're generally majority character development. Okay, and so character development is meant to introduce you to the characters and in such a way so that when something happens to them you're emotionally involved with them and you care about it and this is how the movie uh, causes you to sense emotions and therefore that endears you to the movie and then you're supposed to leave saying that was a good movie right because I got something out of it I got emotions out of it I felt uh, dramatic or scared or loved or whatever the issue is that the lower the budget for the movie, the lower the budget for special effects, the less special effects, therefore the more character development. So you have movies that are literally like 90-95% character development and then fragments of a percent of something actually happening to them. And the problem with most found footage movies is, is that the characters are sexually perverted drunkards, drug users, and apparently the scripts were written by like very angry 15 year olds with hardly any education because no one can seem to state a cogent sentence without peppering it with expletives. So they have disgusting vocabulary, they're sexually perverted in any very kind of way you could imagine. Uh, they're drunkards and drug users and this is what you get for 90 percent of the movie and so somehow i'm supposed to care about these people enough so that when oh you know a phantasm rips their face off and eats it i'm supposed to be concerned about that in some way i mean i'm most likely thinking finally they'll shut up for once um <laughs> i mean on a theological level i would actually love and care for people like that but uh, when you're talking about the world of fiction and you're just watching such disgusting characters um, yeah it's it's kind of defeats the purpose for me to to even watch a movie like that on various levels but that's the problem with most found footage movies is the the characters don't endear themselves to me and so that just makes the movie drag and drag and drag and drag and nothing's happening nothing's happening uh, but basically, uh, I don't know, I guess some kind of something you could get out of a typical liberal college party is what's going on the entire time for 90% of the movie is just awful. So there are many good ways to do good found footage movies and just making uh, them about uh, reprobates, about unethical people, that's that's just being cheap you know it's being easy I mean how many movies that are exactly the same are people gonna make just because they're easy to make on a low budget you know why don't you up your game already and do the hard work of writing a story that has an actual beginning an actual middle and an actual end and is interesting um, not just on the level of somebody who wants to see boobs in a scary movie, but who actually wants to think through these issues. Issues of the paranormal or supernatural or ghost or whatever the case may be. Really dig into them, explain how the things happen, and not just leave everything be a mystery. So up your game, write a better movie already.
right, what is wrong. Who's to say, really, in the end? I mean, because it is unknowable. There's an imaginary line out there between right and wrong, good and evil. Because there's no right or wrong thing in this scenario. Then we tell you the right thing afterwards. We're not here to decide who's right or wrong. We're here to decide who lives and dies. What does that even mean? When there are vampires running around, there are clearly rights and wrongs. Across the line, things get confused. Confused about what? Right and wrong. Right and wrong. Do you have any idea how naive that sounds? You're in no position to talk to me about right and wrong.